Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I want to take a moment to thank all of you that have subscribed. It really means a lot to me and gives strength to continue doing the videos. Now this is a spotlight RGB that uh, is operated um, with a lithium battery you can control it with a remote and this thing costs 170 euro that's about I don't know 185 dollars 190 something like that it is made from Lumisky as I can see it's a French company and this is the Bobby C40 version which means it's 40 um, millimeters in diameter. Um, now let's take a look inside. This thing is not working. Oh, I forgot to say that it comes with a wireless charging station that you can put it here, give it a charge, and this is a floating as you can see IP67 device that you can put it on the water and it floats and illuminates the place uh, it has a screw on cap and here is our main um, PCB underneath we can see the lithium battery, it's an 18650 uh, lithium cell, 220 milliampers. I don't know if you can see, but no other markings on it uh, about its uh, country of manufacture or uh, brand. Uh, as you can see, here is the coil. Let me find my stick. Here is the charging coil. On the other side, we have a small PCB for the three buttons on off colors and brightness. And as far as the PCB goes, it looks quite simple actually um, all we have is the uh, rectification uh, components for the wireless charging and uh, here is our let me take a look so this is a 50 56 uh, lithium charging IC which does all the charging process for the lithium battery and obviously here is a microcontroller that of course everything has been um, sanded off so you cannot see uh, what it is but I mean it really is a simple circuit as you can see for the white illumination it does have some uh, single color white LEDs and the RGB ones for the RGB uh, coloring um, this has a charging time of seven to eight hours so quite a lot as you can get much power from the uh, wireless charging um, and this thing just doesn't work so we need it we need to take a look at it 
now first thing first let me see if I can get the multimeter in the view um, will we be able to see I think that, yeah, that looks okay so let's take a measurement for the battery don't know if you can see here is the battery connector actually underneath and as you can see the battery is totally empty uh, let me change the camera view so we can get a better look at it so we're back um, what I want to do next is try to charge the lithium battery that obviously got, the char got discharged to zero volts. Um, I'm going to use my power supply. I want to give a first charge to take the voltage up to around three volts and uh, see afterwards if the uh, wireless charging station uh, and the circuit works um, so i'm going to use my bent power supply with a couple of wires now i'm going to set the power supply to four volts it doesn't really matter as we only want to get an initial charge so there were four volts and i will turn the current all the way down so we can give it uh, just a bit of a charge at the start uh, i will connect the battery and uh, show you what i'm going to do so there we go this is for minus this is for plus and here are the power supply uh, crocodile connectors there we go now it is connected to the power supply and I'm going to start raising very slowly the current until we get some charging going and there we go I want to take it a bit lower so 120 milliamps uh, at the moment is at 3.2 volts straight away um, I'm going to leave it there to you take uh, some charge and come back later I was a bit surprised that it jumped straight to 3.2 volts and I'm thinking that there may be uh, protection PCB inside the battery or something like that so I want to stop the charge and look at that battery is already at 3 volts um, so I'm going to disconnect uh, the power supply and uh, take a measurement there this is disconnected and take our multimeter and check the voltage so there we go we are at 3 volts so there is a possibility that there is some kind of BMS inside there but cut out 
uh, when the battery was uh, very discharged. I'm curious to see if this will switch on now. And yes, it does. So I'm going to use my IMAX uh, charger to give this battery a charge, a full charge, uh, as I don't want to spend uh, five or uh, eight hours with seven or eight hours with this one. And oh, maybe we should test if it starts charging. Uh, so here is the battery charger, just a normal um, five volt, one amp, tiny uh, volt charger. So just to see, so will it start charging from here? The light is green. I really don't know if this... Okay, so it's not charging. Hmm. Should it be red for it to charge? I have no idea. So if it is here, it looks like it's discharging. But if you put it there, it goes to green again. That's interesting. Maybe something has moved inside here, I don't know. I think I should check the manual and see. Uh, Although it does look like charging is red and full charge is the other one. Um, okay, stop it here and I'm going to check the manual. So there is definitely a problem with the charging system and because I see a broken part here I want just to take a look at inside the, um, uh, the charging station if the, um, the coil has moved, the charging coil, if it was dropped or anything. Although it looks that you have to lift it up in order to get uh, the charging started. has broken the coil looks taped on the top here so it is most probably in place as we can see That's interesting. And let's see here as well. Yes, it is bottom down. Okay. So I'm going to put a touch of glue on this piece and put this back together and try again the charging station. We are back and I'm just going to try to use this as a spacers and see if we get the distance better.
So I don't know if there is something missing here and it doesn't start to charge properly. Um, but it looks like it is charging now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my uh, current clamp uh, in order to try to measure how much current is going through there. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop the charging process through the wireless thing and take a measurement of the battery about its capacity and its state and we will take it from there. So I'm going to take my IMAX charger out and test the battery. So my IMAX charger just died. <sighs> Come on. So because the IMAX B6 charger decided to give up, I have installed in this charger with a couple of uh, insulators and then AA battery to help it uh, stay in place. Um, as you can see already the battery is not reading good at all. I don't know if the cables are the problem. But anyway we will give it a full charge, see how many much capacity it has and uh, take it from there. Here is the battery fully charged. As you can see it took about 1700 milliamps. I want to give it uh, a reset just to see if the internal resistance changes. Yep, much better now. It has dropped 0.1. Now this thing has been charging for some time now and let's take a look at the temperature as it is quite toasty to the touch. So So as you can see Charging IC is about 40 degrees and the bridge rectifier quite hot as well and what is troubling to me is that the coils are super hot in the middle. Don't know if that is normal, but that's how it is. Now let's take a look at this battery. You can remove it with four screws holding uh, the top PCB mount. So there is not much room there to lift the top, but maybe I can slide the battery out like that. There we go. And here is Our PCB mount. Now, as we can see, the battery does indeed have 
and some kind of a circuit attached to it. Now I would like to disassemble uh, the heat shrink and check what kind of battery we have inside for uh, such an expensive product. I'm going to use my side cutters just here. Oops, I bumped the camera. Try to get this thing. Okay. We are somewhere now. Mm, it won't work. I have to cut it all the way, I think. Just like that, maybe. Just be careful not to touch any parts of the small PCB there. And there we go. This is a JBY battery I have no idea what it is and here is our small circuit so did a check about this battery it's just a generic Chinese one um, we are going to replace it with a Panasonic, very classic battery, 3.4 amp hours, made in Japan. We will have to remove the um, little protection circuit from the battery. Remove those two protection caps. That's interesting. We also see a bit of corrosion, I don't know if you can see it here. Um, let me use the side cutters to try and lift this thing up. There we go. Oh, it's pretty good on there. Uh, Let me try a small screwdriver if it will fit under there and get this thing removed. So there is the one part there. I'm going to cut this captain tape here. Let's try to remove this part here as well. I can try to lift it from here. Let me get my spool pliers as you can see. It's already breaking here from the corrosion. I don't know if we will be able to use that. So I have the board removed, here is the plus side with the um, 
I will use my soldering iron to fix the protection, the protection PCB on the battery. I know many of you are screaming at me right now. Um, it should be right. I have a wet rug just here to take the temperature a bit from the battery. And let's try to make what they did by applying some uh, paper tape. I don't know what it's, or how is it called here for the PCB to lie on. And cut it here as well. So we won't be able to use this part. I have to put uh, a small cable there. As it, this doesn't look very promising for the future, it will come off just like that. I may use a, a heat shrinker there just to be on the safe side. Now let's switch on the soldering iron. Soldering iron is hot. I'm going to use this thing here to help me stabilize the battery there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some solder First of all here, and let's do that, I am using my biggest soldering tip for this iron mm. so I don't have to uh, touch a lot of time the battery. So there we go. This thing has its solder there. Now it's time for the battery. Wipe our tip, tin it, and there we go. And use the wet towel to bring the temperature down. That's it it's cold to the touch. Now let's solder the PCB there. We will try to be as quick as possible. So it should be around there and go. There we go, use our wet towel to make this a bit cold and yes, that worked just fine. This thing is really on there and now let's take a look what are we going to do here. So we will have to solder a piece of wire here and on the battery. I'm go just going to use a regular wire. Again, put some solder there. There we go. a bit of solder on the wire there we go solder the wire there Oops. look at that Mm. 
now let's see that's how much cable we need in it and thin the top of the battery as well there we go again a wet towel So this thing is a bit longer that we need than we need. Uh, just for the extra protection, I'm going to use some heat shrink tube there. I will just use the hotter station to shrink this, maybe it was too big for the job, we'll see. That should be fine. So let's go for it again. to use my tweezers for that but where are they okay I'm just gonna use this one to hold it down repeat over there and this is the final result use some Compton tape as they did to fix the cable here we are and now uh, I'm going to try to find the heat shrink to put over it I don't have the very thin that it is for batteries but we should be able as we have a bit of space here we have a bit of space here let me grab a heat shrink this is the closest I have found uh, we will need about this much going to put these protective pieces in there and one over here and now use again the hotter station at the hundred and twenty degrees to shrink this tube. 
try to make this piece okay there we go the battery is a bit hot now actually touch it all together there to get as much heat as possible and here it is it looks absolutely fine now let's try to see if it will fit in here so our plug is there that's how we would like it to go and very nice it is quite firmly in there put the PCB on the side just like that align it a bit So as you can see the battery is, is just a bit thicker but it will go there just fine. So let's replace our screws. And there we go. Oh, this thing has turned a bit. So battery goes just right there. Battery goes just right, right there. Give it a go. Nice. Okay, here is the dome in operation. It looks pretty nice actually. Um, that took longer than expected. I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!